using radial masks with this part of the project and it's a great one i use this all the time with portrait photography like what he was showing sometimes you want that focus to be on like the couple the person for me a lot with the baby and i don't want to see the background there in lightroom we've got our edit section right here crop and rotate the healing brush and this last one is masking and when we click on this there's a couple different things that we can use with it the first one select subject is a great one just like in photoshop it'll select the subject highlight that person for us we can also select the sky so that way you can rapidly change colors um, of the sky or like just dramatic changes and then also brush linear gradient which he was just showing but the one we're using is radial and this one's great because we'll click like right here on the middle of the jar and we can drag it up and over and I'm just making a very rough selection over it. And if it's in the wrong spot, I can actually move this around wherever I need it to be. And right now, this is the feather part that he was talking about. So I'm gonna keep it right where it was at before, right there in the middle. And now from this, I can start to play with some of these adjustments. The first one I'm gonna mess with is exposure because with this image, the background's a bit too light. So if I bring this up, you'll notice just that center part is getting brighter or just that center part's getting darker. And I don't wanna mess with that right now on this mask. So I'm gonna hit Control Z, set that back to zero. And I'm gonna invert it so now it's just the outside. And I can just bring this down. And look at that, like magic. Like the background's out of the photo. It's much darker. We can adjust those areas. I can drop black right there. And now it looks like the internal part, like we did it perfect. We have awesome lighting. It doesn't look like cheap paper right there. And it was a really quick thing to do. I can then add a second mask. So I can create a new mask by clicking right here. And I'm gonna create another radial gradient. And I'm gonna do the same thing, drag over the jar right here, maybe a little bit smaller. And this is the one where I would start messing with the things on the inside. So maybe I bring down the darkness right here, bring up white, drop shadows, because I just want those areas to be a little bit darker. Or even this is where I can start to play with hue and change it around in case I wanted it to be a different color. I'm pretty happy with that purple. Can even play with saturation to switch that up. We can also use these masks for little fine detail areas. Like when I'm looking at this photo, I'm pretty happy with it, except for this section right here is a little bit too gray, a little bit too light for me. So I'm just gonna create one more mask, little radial gradient, just draw it over just this spot right there, right there. And I'm gonna drop the exposure on this section just cause I didn't like that highlight on it. So that way I can adjust just those key little parts that I want. Maybe I'd pick up the same on the bottom one more time, create a radial gradient. Drag over right there. And I'm dragging from the inside and just dropping that darkness because I want all that focus to be on the jar, to be on the paint. And I don't need those little highlights. From there, start to play with the basic edits might pick up the yellows or the greens in it and desaturate them because I'm not liking how those look. There go. So that way, whole photo is just black, white, and purple. Again, gradial uh, masks right underneath this is a great one. So we're going to be using that with this project.